Welcome to the final part of Spring Boot Kubernetes tutorial series. In this video, we are going to review what we have learned as part of this series and what uh, we have implemented and what technologies we have used. And also, I'm going to give you some pointers to uh, resources where you can learn more about uh, some of the technologies we have used in this series. So if you remember in, um, in our first part, this is the goal we are trying to achieve uh, to learn how to build a REST API using Spring Boot. And we build a UI using Next.js, which is a framework on top of React.js. And then we learn how to use Docker and Docker Compose to set up a local development environment. And then we learn how to deploy our application on Kubernetes cluster. As part of this, we have touched upon various concepts on backend, like uh, how to use Maven build tool with Postgres database, and we have used the latest uh, Java 17 version, and then we have used a Spring Data JPA library, and also we used a Flyweight for database migrations, and we have also explored how we can use uh, test containers for uh, implementing integration tests. And also we have uh, implemented this continuous integration using GitHub Actions. As part of the GitHub Actions, as soon as we commit any code changes, we are going to compile and run the test. And then uh, if everything goes fine, we are going to build a Docker image and then publish to Docker Hub. We have implemented all that. On the front end side, we have uh, learned uh, some basics of React.js and then looked at uh, Next.js and then start working on the implementation of our bookmarker uh, UI. And we have used a uh, few libraries like uh, Bootstrap, Axios for communication. And, uh, and then uh, finally, we learned how to dockerize our both API and UI applications. Uh, using various approaches, using Docker files, build packs, and zip. And then we have uh, explored how to set up uh, dev environments using Docker Compose so that anybody can simply clone and run the application without having to do a lot of uh, manual uh, steps. And then finally, we learned about uh, Kubernetes and uh, various types of uh, Kubernetes objects like pods, replica sets, deployment, service, ingress. And also we have uh, done hands-on uh, on few of these things using ad hoc commands and also used uh, YAML manifest files. And we have uh, set up uh, for our local uh, deployment, we have set up kind cluster and then uh, we have created all these ML manifest files and then we deployed. And then we also used uh, Lens GUI tool, which is really good for uh, uh, viewing what, what resources are already deployed and all the details. And you can explore uh, logs of the pods and you can even uh, run a shell into uh, one of the pods and then you can uh, run any ad hoc commands. So uh, Lens tool is really very handy and we have learned how to use it as well. So as part of this whole series, we have covered a lot of uh, ground. The idea is not to implement super complex application, but to understand how end-to-end -end development uh, works and how to integrate backend API with frontend and then how we can dockerize those things and then how we can uh, deploy these uh, applications on Kubernetes. So it covers end-to-end uh, -end application uh, development experience. And I hope you learned uh, uh, at least uh, basics of how to work uh, throughout the application lifecycle on various parts of the uh, application development. And finally, I would like to give some uh, resources so that you can uh, go deeper into some of these concepts and learn more about them. Obviously, one of the resources I would suggest is my own blog, where uh, usually I blog on uh, Java and Spring, Spring Boot, Kubernetes, things like that. So here, if you go to sivalabs.in, uh, you can click on this tutorials link, and then there are uh, links to various tutorials. So you can see I have written a series of articles on uh, how to uh, use Kubernetes with Spring Boot application. And if you prefer to read uh, articles, uh, 
I would strongly recommend to go through this and uh, we have really explained very well how uh, various concepts of Kubernetes uh, can be used for uh, different purposes, how to do blue-green deployments and things like that. And also earlier I have written a series of uh, articles on how to implement microservice-based architecture using Spring Boot and Spring Cloud. Um, and then uh, there are numerous articles on uh, Spring Boot. Uh, I hope uh, some of these things will be useful. And also recently I have uh, created a Spring Boot Tips uh, uh, series, which is a 10 part series. And in each of these uh, video, I have uh, picked up one of the Spring Boot concept and then explained in detail how it works and uh, what happens behind the scenes. I, I strongly recommend you to uh, go through this series if you want to learn more about Spring Boot. And uh, if you are uh, trying to learn more about the UI development, a uh, couple of great uh, YouTubers that I know uh, one is obviously if you are into front-end development you most likely already know uh, Brad Traversy uh, whose channel is Traversy Media and there are amazing tutorials on the front-end uh, development and I strongly recommend you to uh, learn from him and there is another uh, channel uh, Code Evolution and this is really really good uh, youtube channel for front end development there are a lot of playlists uh, even there is a, a next js playlist and there are uh, 79 parts of this uh, series and i strongly recommend you to uh, go through this if you are interested to learn front end development and coming to uh, kubernetes the best resource i would uh, recommend you to uh, uh, explore is tech world with nana there are a lot of uh, video tutorials on docker kubernetes i very strongly recommend you to uh, learn from this channel and the content is really really amazing so uh, these are some of the uh, youtube channels that i highly recommend you to learn from and i hope these resources are useful for you and uh, thanks for watching and thanks for your uh, encouragement and i hope this series is uh, useful for you